The Endwalker benchmark trailer has just been released, and with it, we can see a whole lot of brand new skills that we've never seen before in 14. What the purpose of this video is, is just going to be me identifying what the new skills are for each of the different classes, and for anyone newer to 14, it'll hopefully get you curious about what's going on, because I know that not everyone plays every job, and you might be like, I can't tell what's new or not. Like, what is this thing? And then it's like, oh, we already have Stardiver for Dragoon. It's a complete disclaimer, though, I am not nearly bold enough to presume to know or want to guess on what these abilities are actually doing because while speculation is fun there might be abilities that I say oh this is a shield and then it turns out to be a powerful DPS buff I'm just really here to identify in this video so don't take anything that I say super duper seriously here if I say it's a shield good chance it's a buff I really don't know at this point. During the Endwalker benchmark trailer, there are two separate combat sequences. The first is roughly between 2 minutes 26 seconds and then 4 minutes. Then the second combat sequence is between 5 minutes 12 seconds and 6 minutes. There are a total of 27 different points of interest that I personally identified going over the footage. Timestamps, of course, are going to be in the description. At 2 minutes 26 seconds in, we can see the Sage attack with purple orbs. We are going to see the new list just spinning around the target, and we're going to see this repeat in the second combat sequence. At 2 minutes 30 seconds of the video, we can see the warrior unleash some kind of powerful DPS ability. At 2 minutes 32 seconds in, we can see the samurai do some kind of multi-slash finisher. 2 minutes 35 seconds we can see the dancer using some kind of blue AoE whether that's a debuff to reduce defenses of enemies, buffing allies, or just raw damage, not really sure. 2 minutes 37 seconds in we can see the monk using a spinning kick kind of finisher ability. At 2 minutes 39 seconds in there we can see paladin and dark knight using what I can only assume to be powerful buffs. I'd perhaps assume defensive based on some of the animations, especially the Paladins, but looking at the Dark Knights, it could easily be a DPS buff as well. At 2 minutes 44 seconds in, we can see the ninja use some kind of special wind attack. Maybe it's just a new ninjutsu, maybe it's some kind of finisher, maybe we're seeing a evolution of trick attack. 2 minutes 45 seconds, I'm pretty sure that a lot of newer players would identify this as like a Hallmark brand new Dragoon ability. Actually, this is Stardiver, which is already in the game. We're going to see the Dragoon ability later on in the second combat sequence. At 2 minutes 52 seconds in, it could potentially just be for cinematic effect, or it maybe is a new machinist skill, but it is just the machinist just hitting one target. I'm not fully convinced that this is a brand new machinist skill. More likely is what we're going to see in a bit. At 2 minutes 56 seconds in we can see the red mage use a single target effect surrounding a single target with groups of electrified runes. This might be like a red mage equivalent to black mage's thunder. 3 minutes and 2 seconds in we can see the machinist's new ability that appears to be some sort of spread AOE. I don't know if this is going to completely replace spread shot or if it's going to be some kind of build up ability that we spend later but we'll have to see. 3 minutes and 6 seconds into the first scene we can see the Black Mage cast a new ability, actually a bunch of Black Mages cast a new ability, and it might be an upgrade of Fire 4 to Fire 5, or it could potentially be some variant ability that we got, such as right now in Shadowbringers we have the Despair ability that we throw in as a Black Mage rotational. Minutes and 27 seconds in we can see a cast time on a Sage AoE heal. 3 minutes 53 seconds in we can see a Scholar instant cast ability that holds up a page and then applies some sort of single target buff. Um, a known exact effect, the visual is slightly reminiscent of Fey Haste buffs that I remember from like a Robert Bourne days, I know, a very long time ago, but it doesn't really make sense in this context, and I, I, I guess it's more just because I see the spinning lines. She may be saying that it's Fey Glow is probably stupid. I don't know, that's where my brain went. A lot of people are like, oh, this is like an advanced X-Cog, or maybe this is some kind of different thing. Really, I don't know. For all I know, this could be a DPS buff. Minutes 55 seconds in, we see the ending of the first combat sequence with the white mage casting some kind of water buff onto the tank. Um, it does look very much like a shield, but remember that a shield effect doesn't necessarily equate to it being a shield. It can look like that honeycomb effect, but not be a shield. Uh, like instances come to mind like some of the bard effects. We're zipping ahead to the second fight sequence, which is going to start at 5 minutes and 12 seconds in, and this is the second time that I'm seeing the purple orbs here with Alpha Nell around casting with the spinning new list around the target. Noteworthy is that the summoner's Ifrit Edge Eye is going to be out. Meaning that thankfully, pets are not dead. And 
<laughs> Pets are not rip in Endwalker, thank goodness. Now, at 5 minutes 14 seconds, I don't think that this is necessarily what people came to this video for, but I'm wondering why the Astrologian's Malefic looks the exact same as it does already. I have questions. They're not going to be answered for a long time, but I have questions why it's the same. 5 minutes and 16 seconds in, we can see the Astrologian is going to be surrounded with chambers with like a moon symbol on them, and then that's going to apply some kind of like dome shield around a particular target. Could easily be a massive DPS buff, it could be a shield, not really sure at this point, but it definitely is <laughs> reminding me of like Sailor Moon power. 5 minutes 18 seconds into the video, we can see the Dragoon use a special new slashing ability. Uh, it might be a combo ability, it might be a build-up ability, some kind of spender, or it might be a finisher. 5 minutes 20 seconds into the video, we can see a new combo, or what I speculate is a new combo for the Gunbreaker. Remember, from the disclaimer, I could easily be wrong, but it looks to me that they just used Brutal Shell into this unique ability, which is really animated a lot, a lot different than the Solid Barrel ability, which is normally their third ability in their 1-2-3 combo. 5 minutes and 20 seconds into the video, I know we've already covered it a few times, but I think that this is a really good view out of it. Uh, so the Sage is casting that ability that we talked about before, which is the Newlith weapons are circling around the target and having that purple circular explosions all inside of it, and I think that this is a very solid picture of what it's actually doing. Uh, if that single target or AoE still remains uncertain, but to me this is a very clear effect. It, the effect is just clear to see. 5 minutes 23 seconds into the video, we can see the Bard is casting what appears to be a spread of arrows. Perhaps it's like an area of effect um, variant of Refulgent Arrow, like Refulgent Arrow right now is a single target ability, but this could be like a spread option to help uh, widen the Bard's AoE. AoE Aoe, 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 Aoe rotation. Alright guys, it's really early in the morning for me and I'm fading. 5 minutes 27 seconds, I see something that I really didn't expect, which was the summoner is actually using some kind of dash towards the frit. <laughs> which I didn't expect more mobility for summoner. And for the record, no, Ifrit doesn't disappear after the dash, but it might be a little harder to see if you look at the footage. Ifrit is still tucked in behind there, but Big Rose covered it up a lot. 5 minutes 42 seconds in. This is something that I actually had to log in and like check on my red mage a few times. I don't think that this is Enchanted Mullionette. I think that this is actually a unique ability. Like it could just be an animation for the trailer fight, but it does, while it does look similar to Enchanted Mullionette, it is different enough from what I can see that I do think it's unique. 5 minutes 48 seconds in, we can have a speculation here that this is the Reaper Limit Break. I think that there's a really good chance that's actually true. 5 minutes 51 seconds, we can see the Sage use some kind of powerful barrier cooldown. Obviously, we don't know the details of it, but obviously it's some kind of big, bulky, massive shield. It's actually kind of trippy that they're proposing that it could nullify a Limit Break don't know if it could, but I think that that speaks a lot to how powerful the developers are weighing it. Anyhow, that is all for the abilities that I could personally identify off the bat from the trailer. I plan to talk way more about these in detail later on, but for now, that will be it for this video. Take care everyone, and I hope everyone is as hyped as I am.